Hey guys, I'm back with another video, sober, honest, and free. Um, today, I'm out here at the campground. I'm about to go camping. I have all my stuff that I have to get set up that's behind me. I know it looks a mess. Um, I gotta get my tent out and get everything situated. I'm out here by the water. Um, yeah, I'm about to chill tonight. Out here by myself, go camping. But you guys are gonna be with me. We have a, a topic that we're gonna talk about tonight. We're gonna discuss the 10 tips of remaining sober. The 10 tips to staying sober. So y'all just chill out for a little bit. I'm gonna get this campground set up and um, we'll have us a little discussion. All right, y'all, I'm about to get started um, putting my tent together. I go camping a lot. Um, but this is my first time going camping this year, so I'm very excited. Okay, y'all, so I finally got my tent together. It was a time, you hear me? It was a time, but it's done, it's done. So now we gotta put the blankets in there and get this fire going, and then we'll have a, our discussion. Alright y'all, so I'm almost done. Got my tent set up, it's all comfortable in there. I just gotta do my fire right by the water. I'm in there. Then I'm gonna make me something to eat and we gonna chop it up, chop it up. Alright guys, I'm about to start my fire for my dinner. Let me situate this a little better so y'all can see what's going on. Alright y'all. around 2 30 and i have not eaten anything all day my stomach is touching my back 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 because i get stuck out there so i'm just gonna chill right here on land even though i love the water but okay guys so right now i'm just putting some corn on the grill i'm cooking my dinner for tonight um and we're gonna 
we don't have date night, y'all. We're going to talk about um, 10 steps to staying sober. 10 steps to staying sober. That's what we're going to discuss tonight. It might look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Just kidding. I know what I'm doing. Put that on there like that. You see y'all? Trying to teach y'all some good shit. I got that aluminum foil right there for my shrimp. This is for my, my salmon.
Okay, y'all, I am finally back. Um, I went ahead and I went and took a shower. Um, I got my, my tent all ready. I got my fireplace going, my little fire over there. It looks fake, but it's it's real, y'all. I did that. Um, but let's jump right into this video. Um, what we're going to be talking about today is tips of staying sober. Tips to stay sober, remain sober, beat your habit. Tips of remaining clean. Tips to sobriety. The first tip. Tip number one is commitment. Tip number one is commitment. Everything that you do, you have to be committed before you before you do it. You have to make a commitment to yourself. Okay, this is my plan. This is what I'm going to do. Commitment equals plan. Plan equals commitment. You have to have a plan and you have to be committed to that plan. Like if you want to lose weight, you have to be committed to losing weight. You have to have a plan. Okay, I weigh 190 pounds. I'm trying to get to 150 pounds. I'm going to go to the gym four times a week and I'm going to lose this weight. Commitment. You're committed to doing that. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do it commitment um commitment to your sobriety you have to make a conscious decision to be committed you have to be committed you have to say okay i might get high five days a week but now i'm going to try to get high three days a week i'm committed to that instead of getting high five days a week or seven days a week now i'm going to get high five days a week it's a commitment it's a start it's a plan okay this is what i'm gonna do and those days that i don't get high i'm gonna replace it with another habit and hopefully soon that habit will replace the new habit will replace the days that you do get high so those five days that you get high now you can drop them down to three days that you get high you you have to be committed and you have to make a plan it's just that simple like with this youtube um i know i can make money off of youtube eventually one day but my goal is to help somebody my commitment is to help somebody so i'm committed to doing videos i'm committed i'm committed to doing videos and that's what i'm gonna do i used to watch csi all uh first 48 all the crime crime networks all of you know all of the the drug inks and things of that nature and i had to replace the habit of watching all the crimes ink all the drugs ink with something else and instead of watching tv as much i said okay this is what i'll do and Instead of watching TV four hours a day, I'm gonna watch TV one hour a day, and those other three hours, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to edit videos, or I'm going to read an extra book, or something of that nature. So commitment. Step one. Tip number one. Feel me, feel the fire burning. This girl is on fire. Feel me, feel the fire burning. Okay, y'all. I don't know. That song just came to my head because, you know, the fire's burning back there. But anyways, y'all, um, jumping right into tip The two. second tip to staying sober is to hang with people that you want to be like. Hang with people that you want to be like. Listen to people that you want to be like. Um, read about people that you want to be like or read something that the person wrote that you want to be like um and i'm not saying that you that you that you you want to be like them be like them per se but for instance um lisa nichols i love lisa nichols um, if you don't know who lisa nichols is um she came from los angeles um a single mother on welfare she went through a whole lot. Um, she wrote a book. She's a motivational speaker now. She's um, she's she's really big, and she motivated me to do to do a lot. Um, so I listen to her. I listen to all her YouTube's. I read all of her books. I listen to all of her motivational speakers um, speeches uh, because the things that she's done, I want to mirror them, but in my own way. Um, when I say hang with people that you want to be like, um, if you're hanging with addicts all day long, even if you're recovered, if you hang with addicts all day long, even if you never did drugs before, if you're hanging with addicts all day long, every day, 80% chance 
you're going to be an addict. If you hang with rich people, you can be poor as dirt, poor as me. You hang with rich people, hang with rich people all the time. Eventually, you will become rich. You will become rich because you're learning what they do. You're watching what they do. You're mimicking what they do. Y'all, I had to look. Y'all know I'm camping now. Um, you're, you're bound to be rich. You're bound to be rich one day. If you hang with three broke hoes, you're liable to be the fourth broke hoe. That's just the way the law of attraction works. Uh, you attract what you are. You attract what you hang around. It's just the way the law of attraction works. Um, what you focus your attention on, you're going to get more of. So it's like, that's why I don't really like to focus so much on drugs, drugs, drawer, drugs, drugs, the wrong drugs. Because the more that you focus on something, the more you're going to get of it. So I focus on sobriety. Because the more I focus on sobriety, the more of it I'm going to get. You understand what I'm saying? So you do have to hang with people that you want to be like. You have to. You have to. And those same people that you hang with, you can't hate on them. You can't hate on what you're trying to become. For instance, if you see somebody, you want to be rich. You see somebody driving down the street of Mercedes and you're like, oh, they trying to show off, blah, 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 blah. Come on now. Nah, you say, dang, bro doing it. He doing it. That's what you say because you can't knock what you're trying to become. Okay, y'all, I had to come out of the tent so I could roast me some marshmallows. Okay, y'all, so the third tip to staying sober is don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be afraid to fail and don't be so hard on yourself. For instance, if you wake up on Monday and say, okay, I'm not going to get high today. I'm going to be sober today. I'm going to be sober today. And you do good. Then Monday night, Johnny Joe come over and say, hey, I got this. You want some? You're like, fuck it. And you do it. Tuesday, you wake up. I'm going to be sober today. Tuesday night, you get high. It's okay, y'all. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. You have to fail to reach sobriety. You have to fail to reach sobriety. It's just all part of it. So, don't be hard on yourself, y'all. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're going to get it right one day. If y'all ain't never had no marshmallows over a hot wood fire, y'all ain't living. Y'all ain't living. If y'all ain't had marshmallows over a hot wood fire, y'all ain't living. Good morning, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. It is the next day. I got a confession to make. I fell asleep last night. After I ate the marshmallows and it started getting loud, I stopped recording. And then I, I laid down and it was over. Right now, I'm heating me up some water for my coffee. And then I promise y'all we're going to finish um, our discussion. Tips to staying sober. I'll be back, y'all. I promise. I'll be back. Did I say I woke up like this? I woke up like this. Tip to staying sober or to getting sober is don't be so hard on yourself. Um, if you wake up like right now, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning and, say, and make a conscious decision and say, look, Nikki, 
I'm not gonna get high today. I'm gonna be sober today. I'm gonna be sober today. So you do everything in your power all day to be sober. You do different things. You go different places. You just, um, you eat in. Um, but then late night, and you're like, fuck, 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 and you get high. Okay, you feel so down. But you know what? Once you go to sleep, you know what sleep is? Sleep is the reset button. Sleep is the reset button. When you wake up, it's time for a new day. It's, you got another chance. Try it again. Nikki, I'm going to be sober today. Go through your day. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, you work. You do this. You keep your mind busy. And you, you, you do it. And then you do it. You don't get high that day. Then the next day you do it again. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, you find things to do. You you go out of town. You read. You you just do different things, and you don't get high. Then that's day two. And then the third day, here come Thursday, and you get paid. This the challenge when you get paid. Okay, I'm not gonna get high today. I can do it. I can do it. As soon as that direct deposit hit. As soon as that paper check hit, you running to get high. It's okay. It's okay. You went three days. Wake up, baby. Try it again. Try it again. You got to keep trying. Nothing beats a failure but a try. You got to keep trying. You have to keep trying. Because one day, you're going to become sober. You keep doing it every day. I'm going to be sober. I'm going to be sober. Thoughts become the things, remember? I'm going to be sober. I'm going to be sober. You fuck up. I'm going to be sober. You fuck up. But you keep trying. That commitment to being sober. Keep trying. Keep trying. Eventually, you're going to be sober. It just works like that. Um, Just don't be so hard on yourself. And right now, it's so much pain because you're getting high and... You're like, damn, I hate myself. Damn, I hate my life. Damn, this ain't how I was supposed to live. And you just be so hard on yourself. But at the very moment that you become sober, my God, you are going to love yourself instantly. And then that's the time that you need to go look in the mirror and tell yourself sorry. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, sorry, I'm sorry for the nights that I made you stay up. I neglected you. I'm sorry for putting that needle in my vein. You have to tell yourself, sorry. I'm sorry for tricking for years and just misusing my body. I'm sorry. You have to cry out to yourself and tell yourself you're sorry. Your body is a temple. You have to love yourself. You have to love yourself. So just don't be too hard on yourself because you're going to get it right one day, y'all. You're going to get it right. But you know what? Um, I listened to um, Esther and Abraham Hicks. And you know what they say? They say you never get it right because you never get it done. And it's true because you, you never get it done. Because as soon as you get it right, it's something else that you got to get right. And then it's something else that you got to get right. So basically, what I say to that is just keep on living, baby. It's all right. But you know what's really cool? Y'all thinking because you did drugs or that you're on drugs that you're weak. You know, the strength is in your deliverance. Once you are delivered, you stronger than a person that never got high before because you overcame addiction. And that's one of the hardest things in the world to overcome. So if your sister ain't never get high and she judged you or whatever, and you came out on top, baby, let me tell you something. You are, I don't want to say better than your sister, but you stronger than your sister because you went through it and you came through it. Your way out of it. And... The benefit is awesome. I freaking love myself now. Y'all see, I'm, I'm, I'm up early. Not by force, not because the guards coming in there. Lights on, y'all get up, child time. That's not why I'm up early. I'm up early because I choose to be. Because I love life, because I got something to live for. I got something to live for. 
I got people depending on me. I got me depending on me. Don't be so hard on yourself. This all you got. This. You. This all you got. That's all you got. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to bounce back. You're going to make another mistake. You're going to bounce back. That's all part of life. So don't be hard on yourself. The person that's motherfucking judging you, that's making you be extra hard on yourself, you don't know what the fuck they got going on. What demons they battling. So don't be hard on yourself. Just trust the process. Trust the process. I'm a living witness. And y'all, once you finally get it and you like you stop doing drugs or whatever, um, the shit feels awkward. At first, it feels awkward as hell because it's the unknown. So the unknown puts you in an uncomfortable place. It's just awkward. It, it's, it comes with fear. You know how like when somebody die, you spread their ashes across the ocean because they're dead? Do this in remembrance of me? That's what I did. I burnt it in on the paper and watched the flames go up in the air like bye-bye cocaine. But I still got high after that. But I'm just sitting here thinking it's a process. You got to trust the process. I did a little ritual and I put it on a paper. I'm not a witch, y'all, but I mean, um, I did a little ritual and I put it on a paper and I put bye bye cocaine and I burnt it. Um, and I did a little, you know, that I'm releasing this and blah, 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 blah. And it didn't happen overnight. It did not happen overnight. So that leads me into another tip is to be patient. You have to be patient. The shit ain't going to happen overnight, y'all. Y'all got to realize it's not going to happen overnight. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep... All right, y'all. Um, I took my sheet off. I got warm by the fire. About to make my coffee. My water's almost ready. Okay, y'all. But the next tip to staying sober is to set boundaries. Set boundaries, not only for yourself, but for other people. What I mean by that is the boundary I set for myself is I smoke weed and that's all I'm gonna do. That's my boundary. I'm not lacing it. I'm not doing nothing else but smoking marijuana. I'm gonna roll it. Ain't nobody rolling it for me. None of that, none of that. Set boundaries for yourself and for other people. By other people, I mean set boundaries for other people. Don't be afraid to tell a motherfucker no. That's for one. No, you can't get high at my house. No, you can't hold my car. No, you can't hold $20. No, I can't take you nowhere. No, you cannot get high at my house. No, you cannot stay with me. No, you cannot come over my house. Set boundaries. You gotta set boundaries. No, I can't give you a ride. You got to learn to say no. You got to learn to tell people no. Them same people that I let stay with me, I ain't never tell nobody no. Anybody come stay with me. Anybody. Nikki House is where you go stay at if you need to stay somewhere. Nobody did I ever turn away. No, you can't stay with me. Never. Never. But them same motherfuckers, they probably don't even have a house for me to stay with. And I'm not knocking nobody. Or I can't go stay with them. So you got to set boundaries for yourself. No, and it is sometimes like you don't even be thinking about getting hot like you're doing so good you could be four days clean and you don't even want to get hot but somebody that's staying with you or somebody that's that's come coming over they get hot and it's a temptation it's a trigger so you got to set boundaries for yourself and for other motherfuckers like this your life you pick your circle and if your circle's small or it's not at all that's fine too but you have the right to pick your circle tell motherfuckers no And you know, other some people will drain your energy. You gotta be careful for uh, energy vampire energy vampires. They're vampirical. Like they will drain you, suck the energy right out of your soul. But nobody can do that without your permission. So that's why you gotta set boundaries. Tell motherfuckers no. Stop 
carrying on other people's demons like you have to stop doing that you have to you have to set boundaries that is so important set boundaries not only for yourself and set boundaries for other people when you start loving yourself and telling motherfuckers no and standing for something boy don't let nobody run up run over you i don't care if you an addict if you got a crack pipe in your mouth right now you gotta stand for something you gotta stand for something or you'll fall for any motherfucking thing and that's just real tell motherfuckers no it's all right either they're gonna like you or they're not but they're gonna respect you don't beat around the bush don't answer the phone because you don't want to hurt nobody feelings or whatever tell them no off rip tell them no tell them no people now they don't even ask me certain things because they already know the answer is ah. Uh-uh, no. So they go to somebody else. <laughs> you got to show people you're not playing. You're not playing about your sobriety. I don't do that no more. Nah, you can't come over here. I don't want that around me. <laughs> Shit deep, y'all. Shit deep. I think my coffee almost ready, y'all. I had to thug this thing, y'all. It's kind of windy out here, but I'm ready. And see, I was at the hotel a couple of weeks ago, y'all. And I, manifestation. I had this, I had took the little sugar packages that they leave in the room. And then the little, the little cream. See what I'm talking about? All right, now I need some. Because this is probably too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. That's what you need to be. Too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. I know y'all could do it. I know y'all could do it. If I could do it, and here go me out here with the birds the bees the trees the leaves the water two years ago what would i be doing right now the fuck sleep or pacing from the night before looking for some more looking for some more you know what i'm talking about like if i could do it y'all i got a dc number done been in prison y'all don't know the half of it y'all don't know the half of it that's old drugs to vice Boy, just to get high. Shit, wow. But if I could do it, I'm sitting out here at the lake right now. Like, who would have thought? Like, here I go with these scrubs on. But I'm out here. I'm up. I'm up, y'all. I'm up. I'm watching people walk around the campsite, jog around the campsite with their dogs, their kids. I would be sleep right now doing. Whatever the night before. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay, but my coffee, I gotta find some. Oh, here we go. I forgot I brought this real. Eh. It feels good about it fine too, y'all. You do it like this. Like this and like this. And that girl got her some coffee. You hear me? Now I just need a stirrer. Bra, bra, bra. Bra. Whoa. I got a whole bunch of stuff over here. I might even make me some eggs. I got some eggs. I got some grits, y'all. Mm. Now it's time for a coffee party. Mm. Coffee on the lake. Coffee on the lake. From the hood to the woods. That's me. That's me. I'm drug free. Hey, 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 Sunday morning praise. Can I get a namaste? It feels so good out here. Yeah, I got me a little trick the way I start my fires. Okay, these little pines. You just put them like what? You see, ain't nothing coming out of fire, right? Put these in here. Bam. You don't need no. Y'all need a more uh, fire nut. So it's magic, it's magic, it's magic, it's magic. It's coming, it's coming, y'all, it's coming, it's coming. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? It's a fire, y'all. It's a fire. It's a fire. Okay, y'all, my next tip to staying and remaining sober. Slow down. Slow the fuck down. Slow down. 
my mama used to always tell me, Nikki, you moving too fast. Slow down. You see you're messing up when you take your time, you do things right. You're moving too fast. Slow down. I ain't never understand it. I just know she was telling me to slow down and I was moving fast. I still walk fast. I can't help that. I just walk fast. Everything I do is fast. I talk fast. But later on in life, I started to get it. Damn, mama said to slow down. And one day, uh, like in my addiction, my in my heavy addiction, and as I, I was uh, selling drugs as well, heavily, um, when this dude that I used to sell drugs to, he would, you know, he used to get high. Um, smoke crack really really bad but he was one of my biggest customers or whatever and then one day I was riding um I was riding and I seen him at the store and he's like Nikki you know I don't go to church or nothing believe in none of that stuff but I had a dream and in the dream it was me telling you to slow down so Nikki I got this message for you you better slow down are you gonna get slowed down? I'm like, down. And he drove off. And you know, like, I don't really small talk and chit chat with people like that. Like, I mean, I do, but like, I don't take shit for, 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 for shit, you know what I mean? But I pick and choose what I wanna listen to. Um, But I listen to that for some reason. I'm like, damn, I'm finna die. You know, he talking about slow down, you gonna get slowed down. I'm like, I'm finna die. Like I just, that week, it just was crazy. You know, I'm just thinking about it. And from that day, it might have been like, I guess like on a Wednesday, the very next Wednesday, I got busted for selling drugs. I got arrested. I went to prison. Um, I got slowed down. I was thinking I was going to die, but like, it slowed me down. It slowed me down. And I needed to go to prison to be where I am, where I am today. I needed to... Um, if when you're moving fast, you might miss something. You might miss a sign. That's why they say in life, you can run run the red light, but read them street signs. That shit deep. Slow the fuck down, y'all. If you make a wrong turn, it's okay. You might run into something that you mean that you don't that you, that you need to see. Um, you might run into somebody that you meet need to meet. It's okay to make a wrong turn. Go the scenic route. It's okay to go the scenic route. And with that slowing down, that's the same thing as saying don't rush. You can't you can't rush life. Be patient. Trust the process, but don't rush. Like if you wake up and you, oh my god I'm late for work, you rushing to find your keys, you rushing to get dressed, it's gonna fuck your whole day up. You might as well go to sleep, go back to sleep, call your work, tell them you ain't coming, or use PTO, whatever, because it messes your whole day up, y'all. Don't rush, don't rush. And I'm telling you, it messes your day up. You be like oh my god, da 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 you rush out the house, you be like oh my god, did I turn the coffee pot off? Oh my god, did I turn the iron off? You're at work, you're messed up because you rush. It just messes up everything. Don't rush. Don't rush your day. Take your time. If you're late, call out. If you're going to be late, use PTO. A lot of PTO. And take your time. Do everything normal. Don't rush. It will mess up. It get you all discombobulated. All fucked up. Get your mind off. You need to stay on your game. Rushing old. Blah, 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 blah. Don't rush, y'all. Don't rush. Slow down. Don't rush. We just talking about tips to stay sober. Getting sober and to stay sober. Don't rush y'all. Don't rush, don't rush. I think. All right, y'all. The next tip of becoming so to becoming sober and staying sober is talk to someone. Find you somebody to talk to. Somebody to talk to. I y'all know how I feel about rehab or what whatnot. But find you somebody to talk to. Somebody. Find you somebody to confide in. Find you somebody to have uncomfortable conversations with. Find you somebody, whether it's a life coach, uh, it's a sponsor. Uh, find you somebody to talk to that's done it before and came through. Find you somebody to talk to that you can call 
all types of night all times of night see my mama i could talk to her i could talk to her i could talk to her mm, i'm not gonna say without judgment because she a mama but it's an unconditional love but it will be judgment i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if that can, if that makes sense but she gonna love me regardless but it's gonna be a judgment i don't know if that makes sense i never said that out loud before i don't know if that makes sense but that's how i feel but i love my mama to death she my rider. She'll do anything for me. And, like, you know, I do anything for her. Like, baby, never going to a nursing home. None of that. None of that. Like, my mama. My mama. I go about her. Go about her. But anyway, that's for some other type of video. That's my baby, though. Ooh, I love that lady. I'm going to call in a minute, y'all. That's, that's my heart. Ooh, getting tears. Thank you, it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, find you somebody to talk to. Y'all, the next tip to staying sober becoming sober is find your purpose find your purpose in life steve harvey said your purpose is something that you do great with the least amount of effort that's your purpose your purpose something to keep tugging at your heart your purpose find your purpose you don't have time for anything else when you're following your dreams Find your purpose. And all that come with a plan, commitment, minding your own business. It's, it's, y'all, it comes with, it, it's, it's, it, it's levels to this shit. But find your purpose, y'all. It's right here. Y'all just gotta search deep within. Y'all, it took me 41 years to find my purpose. I mean, I kind of knew a little bit. It's just different experiences. And now when I look back, I feel like, oh, that was my purpose the whole time. This is my purpose the whole time. Little situations from even from when I was a kid led up to my purpose. Experience that I've been through led up to my purpose. Me finding my purpose. And don't just find your purpose invest in that purpose invest in the purpose you invested in the dope man so invest in yourself while investing in your purpose pamper yourself go get you that outfit that you wanted go get you them shoes that you wanted go buy you that house that you wanted invest in yourself you know all the money that you spent on the dope man you could be rich right now invest in yourself find your purpose invest in yourself find your purpose all my money right now go towards my purpose my bills and my purpose yeah and pretty soon i'm not even gonna know my money is going to my bills because my purpose is gonna be being fulfilled and nothing else is gonna matter but my purpose y'all gonna get it if y'all ain't got it yet y'all gonna get it it took me a long time y'all but i got it I'm getting it. Let me take that big. I'm getting it. And in finding your purpose and setting boundaries and all that, you have to love yourself more than you love anybody in this motherfucking world. You got to love yourself more than you love your kids. I don't have no kids, but I know you got to love yourself more than you love your kids. You got to love them. Because how you going to take care of them if you don't love yourself more than you love you? How you going to teach them the right shit if you don't love yourself more than you love them? Come on now. You got to love yourself more than you love your mama. You got to love yourself more than you love anybody body before you love that that man that woman you gotta love yourself more than you love anybody setting boundaries is watch who you have sex with watch who you lay with that's part of setting boundaries because energy is not destroyed it can only be transferred so stop having sex with people that that you don't want to be like. Stop. Stop. What's the point? Sexual energy. It takes a lot out of you. So watch who the fuck you fuck. That has a lot to do with being staying sober, getting sober. Y'all look at this fight. It is beautiful. Okay. I don't know. I'm just shocked and amazed by this certain thing.
another tip for staying sober is do things you never done before. Here go me, y'all. <laughs> do things you never done before. Outside the box. Take you $150 and go get your passport. That's the one. Do things you never did before. Go out of the country, get on the boat, go skydive, go do some stuff. Do things you ain't did before. And if you're so busy doing things you never did before, you're gonna be too busy to get high. You meet new people by doing things you never did before. You gotta get out the hood to go meet this person. You can't meet your soulmate always in the hood. Like, you have to get out the hood. Get out your city, y'all. Get out your comfort zone. You got to give yourself a new reason to exist. You got to give yourself a new reason to exist. You got to have something to live for. You got to. Like, this thing in life, everybody got an opportunity. Like they say, everybody can eat. It's enough food out here for everybody to eat. It's enough ideas out here for everybody to win. It's, a, it's enough. It's enough for everybody. The universe gonna make sure that it's enough for everybody to go after the same goal. It's enough for everybody to eat the same food. It's enough for everybody to eat different food. It's just enough. God made it that way. It's enough. You ain't gotta fight for it. You ain't gotta be stingy. You ain't gotta be jealous. It's enough out here for everybody. But just some words of encouragement, y'all. Get off them drugs. Stay off them drugs. Drugs ain't your motherfucking friend. I'm telling you. <laughs> the dope man ain't your friend. They may call you sus, auntie, unk. They ain't your friends. They know good and well you ain't they uncle. They know good and well you ain't they auntie. They just want your cash. That's it. So, if y'all thinking about getting high, y'all want to get high, y'all having that itch to get high, find you something safe to do. Find you something safe to do. Go read a book, get your tent, go camping. Get in front of the camera and talk like me. Do something. It's so many other things. So many other things you could be doing, y'all. So many other things. But um, I pray for y'all, I love y'all. I pray for me, I love me. Cause it does definitely start with me. Um, I hope y'all doing all right. I hope everybody is well. Uh, it's, it's another fight. It's another day. You woke up this morning. You could start all over again. Um, it, it's possible, y'all. It's possible. I'm a living witness. It's, it's possible. It's possible. It is possible. And I got faith in y'all. I got faith in every last one of you. I got faith in you. It all starts with a step commitment y'all got this y'all got this and from the bottom of my heart i love you and i believe in you y'all the goal is to stay sober stay honest and stay free nick nick and i'm out